Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I am here to share a project that I made using some stickers. So today is Saturday, which means it's Sticker Saturday. Now, Sticker Saturday is an open collab. Anyone is welcome to join in. You can use any stickers that you have in your stash and create something and share it on Saturdays. Please use the hashtag Sticker Saturday and be sure to tag me either in your title or in your description so that I can check out your video. So let's get into it and I'll share the stickers that I used for this week's project. So I had this pack of deco paper stickers in my stash that I had originally purchased to use in planners or journals and never got around to it and I thought I would break these out for this week's Sticker Saturday. I'm slowly going through my sticker stash and I'm getting into some of the items that have kind of been buried and I haven't gotten a chance to use yet. And these were perfect for what I was making this week. So um, you can see, here's a sampling that I took out so you can see what they look like. Now they're sort of um, on a little vellum sheet and they're really perfect for decoupage because um, when you adhere them to a project, they're almost transparent except for the image. So I loved that for what I was making this week and a variety of florals and butterflies and there's even mushrooms and you know leaves. I didn't use everything that's here, but I, I chose some specifically for the project that I was working on, but a nice variety. Um, this packet um, was actually filled with these stickers along with some, you know, decoupage papers, which I'll be using on other projects as well. So um, I picked this up on Amazon and um, this was the inspiration for me to get started on what I wanted to make. So when I thought about the projects that I would be doing this year, I typically make a lot of cards. Last year, for the first time, I made some twin cheese and I made some memory decks cards, um, along with regular cards, A2 size cards, and some artist trading cards, and some other projects that I sprinkled in throughout the year. But this year, when I thought about some of my crafty goals, one of the things that I wanted to work on was journals. So I haven't done a junk journal yet. I haven't done um, a mixed media journal or an art journal. And that was what I wanted to start to focus on. At least dip my toe in the water in January and start creating some more um, collages and other ways to paper craft. Um, maybe some glue papers and um, specifically I thought about mixed media journaling. And so um, I picked up this Dina Wakely media journal and it's heavyweight cotton paper journal for mixed media. Now I'm not a mixed media artist. There are a lot of great um, crafters out there that do mixed media, but again, um, this was inspiring to me and I wanted to start that process of at least exploring um, some art journaling and a little bit more of using different medias um, on paper. And so this journal I thought was perfect. It's six by six, heavyweight cotton paper. And um, you know, here's a look at the inside. You can see how very heavy and textured this paper is. And from the reviews that I read, you can use your sprays and dyes and paints, watercolor. Um, it can really withstand a lot of layers. And that's really what I was looking for because um, I like to use sprays. I like to use dyes. I like to use paints and watercolors um, and a lot of markers and, you know, alcohol inks and all kinds of different um, 
crayons and gesso, and I thought this would be the great um, spot for that. So um, I broke out some of those things, some of my Distress dyes, some gelatos, some um, stickles, and let's get into it and I'll show you what I created. So this is the first page of my journal. So this is my first attempt here at doing a mixed media collage. And I started out with layering some Distress ink. And then I took some, um, of course, this beautiful music paper that I had. And I put that on with some... Um, of my matte gel and um, once I layered that on then I wanted to find a focal image and I went through my um, Tim Holtz paper dolls and these are the groups and I came across these three ladies and I thought they were the perfect focal image for the opening page of my journal because I like to imagine that their craft are friends and they remind me of some of the great ladies that I have met on YouTube. And I thought they looked like they might be crafters. They might be going together to a craft fair. They look like they could be celebrating New Year's. So all the stories that I wanted to tell on this opening page of my journal, that's what popped out to me when I looked at this image. Don't they look happy and they look like they're really going to have a good time together? Um, so once I found that focal image and I was able to lay it on top of my music notes, which I thought were great, then I brought in the stickers, the butterflies and the flowers, the roses, and I wanted to surround those ladies with those images. Um, I added some of my gelatos in yellow and blue and green. Um, and then I added some stickles and paint pens. You can see, hopefully you can see the shimmer and the dots of the glitter and the paint pen. I added some Radiance Rain Spray and that's in Shimmering Noir. And I thought that would add even more glitter. Um, and then I wanted to put some words down. So I went once again to Tim and the small dock um, sticker sheet and I found live, create, tell the story. And I thought that was the perfect sentiment for kicking off this little mixed media art journal that I'm gonna be working on throughout the year. I'll stop and make a page or two um, as I'm inspired to do. That was really my goal for this year, for 2023, um, working on things other than just cards. Even though I love to make cards and I'll continue to do that, I have um, quite a few paper collections that I'm going to be working on for Valentine's Day, but this is something different for me and I wanted to think outside the box for this sticker Saturday and really hopefully inspire you to get out your stickers and use them on a variety of projects. I say that all the time in my videos. Don't just use them on stamps, on cards, but um, create in other ways with your stickers in journals and planners and on twinchies, of course, ATCs and cards. There's just a variety of way to use your stickers, even home decor. So I hope you liked what I shared this week. Please be sure to follow that hashtag sticker Saturday. Remember it's an open collab. I would love to see what you create. Please be sure to tag me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.